Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics simply states that the change in internal energy for a system is the heat flowing into or out of the system minus the work done. What's important here is going to be the signs you assign to these two variables. When heat is added to a system, that means heat goes into the system. So that would be a positive change in heat. When heat is lost from a system, we assign a negative sign to Q as it is a decrease in energy. Next, we have work. When work is done on the system, it has a negative sign. As work flowed into the system adding to the internal energy, this must become a positive element. Hence, if we have a negative work done, we'll have a positive work in the equation. And work, when work is done by the system, the sign for work will be positive. Keeping these sign conventions in mind, we can use this equation to see the change in internal energy for a system. Let's look at this example. We have 2,000 joules of heat is added to a system, and 1,000 joules of work is done by the system. What is the change in internal energy for the system? So we can find this change in internal energy using the first law of thermodynamics. We know that the change in internal energy is Q minus W. Now, let's go into the question and pick out the key words that will help us determine the sign for Q and W. 2,000 joules of heat is added to the system. So, since we're using addition, heat added will be positive. minus for work. And then it states a thousand joules of work is done by the system. As work is done by the system, the sign for work will be positive. So the change in energy will be 1,000 joules. And this is how we can use sign conventions in the first law of thermodynamics to see the change in internal energy. What's important to note here is that these variables don't describe the state of a system. What they do is they can cause a change in the state of a system. Variables that describe the state of a system would be internal energy, pressure, volume. Such variables are called state variables. What we derive from the first law of thermodynamics are the various processes that can be caused by changes in internal energy. Thank you for watching and see you for the next video. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what physics class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the said Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.